Hello everyone and welcome to the Monday Live Angel Message. I'm Rachel Skoltok and today it's Monday the 23rd of March and it's more than just the Monday Live Angel Message today. I'm going to be supporting you through this huge shift that we're in at the moment and the challenges that we're all facing. So that I, I hope that you are feeling okay, that you're going all right and I know that um, everyone is experiencing this in many different ways from a spiritual perspective and an empath's perspective, it's quite hard to stay grounded and centered. And that's why I want to offer you um, this support here so that I can help you to stay grounded and centered and also to help you stay connected to the source and to understand what we're actually going through because it's happening on a physical level and it's also happening on a spiritual level as well. So I'll be doing the reading for you today, pulling cards for the week ahead to guide you through. If any of you listening want to have a one card pulled for you, I'm quite happy to do that too. And I'm also going to take you through a simple healing to help you stay centered. Um, and you can keep coming back to this video throughout the week. Good morning, everyone. I'm seeing everyone coming on now. Hi, Sumi. Hi Lisa, Jessica, Lauren, nice to see you, Keely. So what I thought I'd do first is, you know, this, I'm gonna pull you a card from Rebecca Campbell's deck, which is Work Your Light, because she very much talks about the ascension energies, and that's what we're in right now. It's not just about what's going on in the physical. There is, there is stuff going on on the energetic planes, that you and I are tuning into and feeling, and the situation is ever-changing, which is why it's difficult to stay centered and to hold on to that place of faith, because faith and hope are the most important things for us right now, because of the amount of fear there is in the collective, because of all of the videos, all of the articles, all of the misinformation, the misleading information, the um, pseudo expert information, as well as the facts that are right deep down there in, in the core of it. And then we can also look at it from an energetic perspective and notice how we're being affected by all that and what we've got to do individually. Now, I'm not patronizing you to the point that I think that you can't be aware of when anxiety is getting out of control and, and you can pull yourself back from whatever is stimulating that out there in the news um, and in social media. I personally have taken Facebook off my phone. I can use it on my, on my computer. I took it off my phone. I took Messenger off my phone because every time a little ding goes off because someone's forwarded me, forwarded me one of the viral pictures that's going around or someone comments on something I put up, that's activating my fight or flight and adding to my stress load. So I don't wanna feel like that. So I've got control over the little thing called my phone and the dinging noises it makes. So I'm not, I'm, that's part of my, my plan, my strategy to get through um, what we're going through at the moment, and we will get through it. Remember that we're all in this together, as in we're all here to support each other. And as things change, instead of going into that fight or flight, everyone for themselves, <laughs> um, panic, it's good as conscious individuals to not just forward means, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a value in that to a point, but I don't think there's much value in it, as much as the value of connection, of meaningful connection, and um, just checking to see how people are, or just having a, even if you haven't got the energy to do that, sending your loved ones and friends love and light, and maybe focusing on the people that are closest to you, and accessing information that is high vibrational, positive, uplifting, factual, and not gorging on all of that fear that, that is out there. So I'm using the Rebe Rebecca Campbell deck for our first card today because she does focus on energetic shifts. And, and, and this is what we are in right now. This, is, this has been talked about and predict, predicted for so long, and here it is, something is happening. And we're having a chance to reset and go through our 
go through our energy, letting go of old patterns, negativity, fear, things that haven't been serving us in the last 10 to 12 years is what I've been told. So if you've picked up a way of being, a way of working, a way of being in relationships, a way of um, that is toxic to you or is just not working for you but you haven't been able to get off of the um, wheel, the hamster wheel to stop and look at it or do anything about it, now is the time to look at that consciously release it and ask for it to be replaced and, and consciously intend for it to be replaced by something better and you get to decide what that something better is. So if you're naturally, I don't know, go into a lot of fear about money and scarcity and abundance and that brings up things for you like you stay too long in toxic jobs or you, um, I don't know, you don't do nice things for yourself because you're worried about money and you don't change then you can look at something like that and say, okay, now I'm going to start taking care of me first and I'm going to start to work on my faith with the universe and I'm going to start on a, something that soothes that fear so that I can come from my higher self instead of my fear ego mind. And that's across the board. It doesn't have to be about money. It can be about relationships. It can be about how you are to yourself mostly. So notice what dreams you're having at this time. Write them down. Notice what guidance and signs are coming up. Notice what patterns have kept hitting you in the face and, and are particularly loud at the moment because that's your shift. That's something that you can do because remember, a world full of peaceful people who have done their work and have, have taken their awareness to a new level and out of reaction and fear and anxiety into a sense of knowingness and a sense of that knowing your own power and a sense of awareness and a reality check about who and what you are, not the fear version, the worst case scenario, not a fantasy version, but the truth. And then you can move forward and then that creates peace in your life and that creates peace on earth. Whereas if you stay blindfolded, you can't go through that shift. So what me and the angels are here to help you with is to support you through this shift, the collective and your individual. How are you sabotaging yourself? How are you exposing yourself to too much stress, too much fear? What, what self-sabotaging patterns, you know, have you got? It could be simple as that you keep eating sugar and you know that sugar's not, not good for you, you know, but it doesn't have to be complex and hard. That's the ego bring it back to what the shift is that you that you need. Um, also, you know, your energy. Your energy is going to be wavering a lot at the moment because of the bigger energy that's going on at the moment, not just mass consciousness, but the planet and the universal energy, the atmosphere, the universal atmosphere that comes from source, which is literally blasting us with a lot of light and love and that's you're integrating that as well as trying to hold on to what's going on out there so as you go through those energies you are going to feel unsettled you're going to feel uncertain that you're going to feel maybe some fear and anxiety maybe some sadness and grief about what's going um, or what seems to be happening and fear about the future so Coming back to the here and now is really important. And also tuning into that higher vibration and allowing that to work through your body and, and to help you go. It's, it's like you're going through a growth spurt and, you know, you'll have growing pains, but ultimately it's going to come out. You're going to feel good. You're going to feel better. You're going to have a, a higher perspective of things. So I'm saying this to you because I haven't written anything down today. Okay. Look at this card. So this is the card called the crumbling and it's asking, what are you clinging on to? What are you clinging on to? What are you clinging on to that you know has to go um, or maybe has, has gone and, and you are still holding on to it? And that, this doesn't mean something bad. This, this could be, you know, an old way of being, being in the world, an old way of doing things, an old way of seeing yourself is, a, is a, a good way, um, an old expectation that you have. Because when you let go of that and you allow what needs to go to go, 
what needs to come in will come in. So you've probably heard me speak before about when we're man manifesting, often we're keeping ourselves in unhealthy patterns of fear and we're blocking what we're asking for and we don't even realize it. So I always um, imagine it as all of our stuff is waiting out there in a, um, in a warehouse, <laughs> all piled up, ready to come. And so that when you release whatever you're holding on to, you know how sometimes we hold on to the old way and it's, it's not, it's not good for us, it keeps us small, it keeps us stuck, it keeps us poor, it keeps us unhappy. But when you, because you're afraid that if you let that go, there's nothing better waiting for you. But when you actually do let that go, what's been called in for you is, come, is gonna rush in, but you have to make space for it. And that's what this card is all about. So we're in the middle of a massive energetic shift where there is a lot of the crumbling going on. There's a lot of this, letting go and I'm seeing it like you know there's an old saying it's like stop the world I want to get off um, and it's it's meant to be funny because we're supposed you know we're stressed we're busy there's too much going on this is this is that moment where we're not getting off but we're getting off some of the self-perpetuated self-made sabotaging merry-go-rounds that we've created in our own lives and as a whole that don't work for us and the quicker everybody gets it and just retreats to do this personal work, and you don't necessarily have to be there writing in your journal and doing loads of meditation, though meditation will really help, so we'll journaling, but have some time where you're just not doing it. Have some time where you're just resting so that you're making space for what's new to come in, and that's why energetically we're isolating so on a physical level we're isolating because we want this virus to go away to burn itself out and the quicker everybody does that the quicker we're going to be back on into the things that we enjoy the traveling the business that all the things that you love doing socializing and it will be with a brand new refreshed energy so I hope this is um, making sense for you. I'll put this up on my Instagram and Facebook stories after this. And also um, I'll probably put it on Instagram and Facebook as a, a main page as well. So I'm supporting you through this shift and, and I'm, I'm going through it too. <laughs> and one of the big things that's coming up, of course, is health, looking after our health and looking after each other. And also our, it's all base chakra stuff. It's our security, our finances, our work, our home, our world as a whole. Um, so it's all base chakra stuff that we are all going through. So how is everyone doing? Thank you, Rhonda. Gratitude to you for always being supportive on here. Hi, Kim. Thank you. Appreciate you too, Kim. You'll make me cry. <laughs> comments like that. Kiri, hey. Who do you miss, Stephanie? Oh, your nana and granddad. Oh, that's so sad. I'm so sorry for your loss. That's really sad. Give me a minute. I'm sending you lots of love. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Jamie. Right, I'm pulling a card for the week ahead. The reason that you're missing your, um, your grandparents so much, Stephanie, is because you're sensing their um, presence beside you. And because they're non-physical now, their energy is different. So when they step in next to you, you can almost... It's that sense of that, that you can almost reach out and touch them. And that's bringing up tears and sadness for you because you miss their physical presence, but they're actually spiritually beside you. They're actually spiritually beside you. So um, they're safe and they're at peace. And, and, and I feel like there's a, a little kind of 
not about the loss, but a bit of a sense of humor, a bit of um, cute kind of chuckling and laughing as if they're, um, they, because they're right there beside you. So I don't, yeah. So here's the card for everybody. This is this is the reading for the week ahead. These are from the Archangel of Power Tarot by Radley Valentine. So look at they they could not be any more accurate. Um, this one, number nine, we're in a sense of completion. Number nine is completions, endings before we move into a new cycle, right? That's always when you see nines. It's also a urging you to listen to your intuition, urging you to listen to what your soul is. You know, we've all got an idea about how our life is meant to be. And then we've got what our soul has come here to do. And make no mistake, your soul isn't here to suffer. All suffering becomes useful, right? But that isn't the purpose. And no angel, no divine being is there going, okay, you must suffer <laughs> so that your soul can, you know, Suffering is useful to the soul when you have raised your vibration to that point when you no longer see yourself as a victim and you go, okay, what is this teaching me? There's always something it's teaching you, but it's not divinely directed. It's not being put on you. So the hermit, the epiphany card is the hermit from the tarot. You can see him standing there with his light in the darkness. He is an old sage, a guru, a shaman, and he is going to show you the way through the darkness. So he is your spirit guide, your guardian angel. He is with you right now. And it's important that you spend some time alone in solitude. So this is a period of deep spiritual growth. And I've said this for my whole career, that when we are in spiritual growth, we don't know it. And we want whatever is going on to bloody well stop and go away. Right. That's, that is proof that you're in a period of, of potential spiritual growth. So when you come out of the difficulty, you look back and you go, huh, and you go, oh, I feel quite good. Like my energy is raised, I've learned some wisdom. You spiritually rise. So what does the planet need more than anything? You know, for the last 150, 200 years is that we have needed a spiritual epiphany. We have needed that spiritual growth on mass individuals have been doing it but it needs now to shift if you've ever read the book power versus force by dr david hawkins or heard the work of dr wayne dyer who both of whom have sadly passed and are supporting us from heaven they spoke about how more people need to be in this state of spiritual awareness not quite enlightenment like the although enlightenment is useful and you may get there, it might be this lifetime, but you don't have to be enlightened you, you, because that sometimes makes people think, well, I may as well give up because I'm not enlightened. Once you reach that awakening and you move with it rather than against it, you are holding more light in your energy bodies and in within you. And that light, should you come from that place of light and love in your actions and do the best you can with it, right? We're all just doing the best we can. You are holding up a balance against the negativity that's that's in the planet. So enough people holding that light offsets all of the darkness. And so this has been getting heavier and heavier, right? So now we have to step into our spiritual path, spiritual awakening, which is things like beautiful Stephanie here, you know, we, we, I mean, I'm still grieving my dog Bear who died over a year ago, you know, who's my only companion for 17 odd years. So, as in he lived with me for that time. So, I still, I still accept and honour my personal grief of loss. But we, I also know that there is really no death. I know that. And that I one day will catch up with Bear, right? And just like Stephanie um, is experiencing at the moment that her parents aren't really gone, her grandparents aren't really gone. So those kind of realizations take faith. But when you hold on to your faith, knowing that all this coronavirus stuff will pass, knowing that we are beings of light, that we are guided, that the universe has our back, that we can still create miracles, manifest, um, be guided and protected through this time, but it takes your individual practice 
to keep that up and to keep your thoughts focused on love rather than fear. That's what's meant. So the block card is this kind of hurry energy. This So it's the number eight, which is about money and abundance. So it's like you know that there is something better on the other side. of Your soul knows there's something better on the other side of this. But the clinging to what is, the old way, the old way of thinking, is what's keeping you stuck. And the, afraid, the fear that you have of losing something is keeping you stuck. Lack, limitation, scarcity, not enoughness, what if, fears, that's what's keeping us stuck. So you've got to look after yourself and you've got to do your spiritual work and you'll cross that bridge to that place where everything's going to be okay, where everything works out, where you can see the full picture. Guidance. This card is another nine. That means we've got two nines in this reading. So, again, completions and endings. This is the card of nightmares, staying up at night worrying, worst case scenarios, um, and regret, guilt, worry, fear, anger, all of those emotions all stirring you up. And it's saying your worry is unnecessary. We've got the, you know, so the, the little guy is sitting up in his bed and he's worrying, he's, he's fearing, he's thinking of all the worst case scenarios. But through his open window comes a beautiful owl, the owl of wisdom. So the wisdom is coming through. The owl is also to do with ego. So that ego um, is the mask that you wear. It's not the true you. Um, and it's asking you to, to set that aside and tune into wisdom. So your ego will be like, oh my God, everything's awful. Everything's going to go wrong. Everything's going to fall apart. Oh, I'm a terrible person or whatever it is. That's not real. Push that aside. It's unnecessary. So this is good news. It's saying your anxieties, your worst fears are not going to be recognized and they're not going to happen, fulfill. Outcome. This is pretty much the equivalent of the crumbling. This is the Change Your Life card, which is the Tower card in um, the traditional tarot. So, but as an outcome, change your life. Everything that we've spoken about in the introduction to this reading is what the angels have brought through me because I did not have a plan today. I didn't know what, didn't know what I was going to speak about except for the shift. Um, so this is revelations that offer freedom this is this is a positive change that's coming um being able to break free of procrastination i mean i don't know about you but i've had all these amazing ideas about all the things that i really want to do when all this isolation and this limitation lifts from us so when we don't get enough of what we don't want we get really clear about what we do want and this is another shift that is happening for you right now so you're getting to see, and don't rush through it, just allow it to show up. Use your journal. Um, you've got embrace this as okay, this is where we are, be in the here and now, accept it as it is, embrace it, embrace the silver lining of it, whatever that is for you. Um, and there is one, don't think that there isn't, your ego thinks there isn't. Um, and then the changes will come and bring new opportunities to you. So, yeah. That's the, that's the reading for the day. I want to say my, um, that I'm not going to do everyday videos. I did that last week. I was still recovering from my cold, and I kind of wore myself out a bit, and um, a few other things came up. So I'll pop in every few days. I'm not going to do it every day. I think what I've done and what I've released already into YouTube, Facebook, my blog, you can look up all of my old videos. I did the 10-day challenge in November, which was – spiritual tools to help you through. Um, you can tune into any of that plus the videos I did last week and get some help um, from that. And I don't I don't need to show up here every day to do this because it is big energy and I'm happy to do it um, when I can, when I feel good. So um, yeah, I can see all of you have been commenting, thank you. So let's do a very quick centering and call in the angels and divine light to you so that you can feel good for today and that you are in the perfect position connected to heaven, grounded to earth to receive these um, energetic shifts, to be open to them and the, and the wisdom that comes with them for you, for your life. Um, and yeah, please, please do the isolation thing. 
I mean, I went out at the weekend, but I kept my distance. I didn't go out into pubs and clubs, but I went to the beach for a walk and I went, I went and got some bread from one of my favorite shops, but I, I didn't do the, you know, I kept my distance. And, and so please do that because sooner this is over, the better, right? Um, when it comes to us feeling sort of trapped. So energetically and physically. Okay, so just take a moment and get yourself centered. Put your flat, flat, flat feet flat on the ground. Your hands open either on your lap or on the arms of the chair beside you. Take a deep breath and if um, you can, close your eyes. Make your back nice and straight so that your chakras can activate. <sighs> Take a big deep breath and I ask for and invite the presence of Divine Spirit and I ask for and invite the presence of Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Raziel and all of the guardian angels, the beings of light, the healing angels that are helping us at this time as we go through this huge energetic, psychic, physical, emotional and mindset shift here on planet Earth. Thank you, angels, for protecting us through this time, for guiding us clearly in ways that we understand. Help everybody here to be safe, but to protect themselves as much as they can and to take care of themselves and their loved ones. And you're being flooded right now with a beautiful golden, white and silver light. It's, it looks almost like a very thick waterfall flowing down around your body. Take a deep breath and the angels are showing me that they are, they're flying in and lifting out using their hands. They're lifting out energies of heaviness, fear and darkness that are in your energy field. And they ask that you give it to them, that you surrender your fears where you say, I'm ready to let these go in exchange for a feeling of peace. And now your crown chakra at the top of your head, is opening it looks like a beautiful flower in the shape of a circle or semicircle opening to receive this silver gold and white light and the angels are saying that this is special light it's divine love it's healing energy it's angel energy and it's helping to activate in a beautiful peaceful way your inner wisdom, your soul. So allow that. And you might feel a buzzy feeling, a slightly lightheaded, air pressure changes, heat. Good. And just allow it to flood through your body. We're not going to be too specific about where it's going. We're just understanding that it's moving through your physical body all the way down from the top of your head to the fingertips. You might feel your hands heating up and you're feeling it flooding down through your torso, the muscles of your back, your neck, your throat and your chest, your stomach. And you're feeling your chakras awaken and your energy center at the base of your spine right down there on your tailbone is activating too and it's glowing a beautiful red colour. And you're going to send that energy in a tree root down into the earth. So imagine it just taking, doing a, a, a beautiful channel. And it's not flooding out of you, it's extending from you. So send it down into the earth underneath your feet. And there is a chakra called the Earth Star Chakra. And for some of you, I can see it's activated. For others, it isn't. So I want you to imagine this beautiful bronzy brown circle of, of disc of light a few inches beneath your feet. You're going to send the channel of light through it. And as it does, it floods with light. It lights up. And that's going to keep you stable. So keep connecting to your Earth Star Chakra. And now we're going to send the light through the Earth Star Chakra into the center of the Earth. I wish I had a bit more time to work with you, but we're going to just work with this for now into the center of the earth and just imagine this beautiful, cool, to the touch, big red boulder and it has your name etched on it, or your names. 
And when you connect with that boulder, that's your, your, it brings you into the present moment and it's your way of acknowledging I'm here now, present in this moment on earth. I'm not floating in the ethers. I'm not disassociating and pretending that I'm not here and living in fantasy land. I'm being in the present moment. That's it. Good. I can feel everybody grounding. And now you'll feel Mother Earth sending love to you up that, up that energy route coming up back through your base chakra. And now your legs are flooded with light, your feet are flooded with light, you're grounded into the earth. And you notice that there's this powerful channel of light coming in through the top of your head. And it's opening all of the chakras above your head too. Yeah. And I want you to take a deep breath and extend the light within your body out into your aura. So you can imagine that it just kind of, it just grows. You extend it in front of you, behind you, above you, below you, either side of you. And Archangel Michael is touching your aura and he's, he's surrounding you with his electric blue light for protection. And Archangel Raphael is touching your aura and he's surrounding you with the emerald green light for health protection and to, to keep you healthy. And just set your intentions for what you want, what you want to create. And if you're ready to activate, embrace the shift, the ascension shift, and become more aware of subconscious, unhealthy, sabotaging patterns, just say inside your mind, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready to shift for my highest good according to divine will. And so it is. Well done. Well done, everyone. So this is a little bit of a longer video today, but um, I did say at the beginning I would pull a card for a couple of people. So um Thanks, Lisa. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks, Ida. It's lovely to see you here, as always. And Yana, hey, uh, how you doing? Leanne, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so we're all getting um, or being offered, and this is the key to anxiety, okay? It's very easy to be a victim and to say, and I, I don't like it when people do victim, especially when they hang empath to it. I'm an empath, so I'm more anxious than everyone else. Yes, you can feel it more than everyone else, and I totally get that, totally. Um, but if we, if we claim ourselves to be powerless, we're not going to grow. That's not you. It's not who your soul is. So if you are struggling in any way, shape, or form, there's nothing wrong with that. I had a, a meltdown yesterday morning. I had a good cry, and I needed it. You need to reach out to others for help, get some healing, get some therapy, talk to trusted friends if, if, they're, if they're able to hear you, if they're able to be there for you. Check first. You, do the work. Look after you because you are important. And yes, you're an empath, but you've got so many tools to, you know, if you've got my book, Loving Your Sensitive Self, if you did my empaths course last year, um, if you've watched any of my videos, I'm always talking about energy protection, how to pull your aura in, how to ground yourself. I've got so many resources for under $10 Australian on my website for protecting your energy, healing, clearing your energy. You're not a victim. There are things that you can do. And yes, this is scary and it's testing us on a very deep level. And I have compassion for everybody, but I want us to get out of that place of I'm helpless because we're not. As a community of lightworkers and empaths, we're not powerless. I don't see you as powerless. We may have challenges and everyone's got challenges in different ways, right? Everyone, because that's what we're here to do. That's what we're doing the work on. You know, 10 years ago when I was always worried about money all the time. That was my work to do. I had to work through it. I had to learn how to work through that. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's you've, you've had difficult parents or that you haven't got great self-esteem or that you're not, you know, you've got toxic relationship going on. Or that's your challenge. That's what's in front of you to do the work with at the moment. So good to hear, Leanne, that you're 
getting that come up and your work doing the work. Kim says only good is going to come of this. Yes, I, and I love that affirmation too. I love that. Okay, so um, hi Kath, nice to see you too. So Sumi asked for a card, so I'll pull her a quick card, or um, I'm assuming it's her. So your card is the Ace of Gabrielle, and it's um, this is a chance for thing, amazing things to happen at this moment. You're in a new beginning. Um, it's about getting your message out there and being really clear, but it's also about knowing that current difficulties are leading to new opportunities. There might be down the track, a change in location or a, um, a big trip, something significant. It's like a chance to do something really amazing. Okay, so as I said, I'm, I'm going to be back on in, in a couple of days, maybe Wednesday, maybe, maybe Thursday. Um, I'm sending you lots of love. I am still working. My business is all online. I'm not sure everybody knows that because I often get requests for people to come and see me now for healing. I did that for 15 years. Now I do all of my healing, energy healing, soul clarity sessions and readings online if you'd like a reading they are half hour or one hour and i record them on an mp3 so you don't have to have an appointment with me and i email it to you i just need your photo and some um questions what do you want to know and, and that's something very easy for me to do um i'm also just about to launch um, a new program called awaken your soul gifts which is all about your intuition connecting with your soul your life purpose giving you tools to use that are not things that I've taught before on here. Um, so I'll, you'll hear more about that. And this Friday is a chance to come together and do some work on our finances, on our mindset around money, abundance, um, and health. I've adapted it. So it's the Friday webinar at 10 a.m. Sydney, Australia time. Um, there's still a few places left. I think I've opened it up for more people because so many people have signed up for it. It's a low cost. It's called Activate Your Abundance. I'm going to be teaching you some abundance techniques, doing an energy clearing on you, and we're going to be doing a global healing and doing healing on your health as well. It's There is um, about how to call back money to you if you've lost some or if it's missing or lacking or someone's taken it from you. There is stuff about raising your frequency, connecting you with the prosperity angels, and lots of tips and guidance. It's a 90-minute live online webinar and there is a recording and if you sign up now you will get the recording so you can't sign up afterwards and get the recording you can only sign up now and get the recording so i'll put the link on the top of this um, and i'll be sending out some reminders this week about about it so if you're already signed up you will get a reminder but you've already received the link in the receipt when you paid so look for that receipt if you can't if you haven't found it and you'll get an email with the rec full recording video and audio um, so I'd love to see you for that because I booked that six weeks ago before this all happened. This is the one that the angels wanted me to do. So I know that the angels are working with us because everything has so fallen into place and this is what we need right now. So if this is something you want to do, please do that with me. You're welcome. Thanks so much for being here and for watching and being a part of this and for always supporting my work and Angel blessings. Have a great week ahead.